Now, with reference to halos in paintings, I just want to go back and uh, touch on a few of the really the key points um, on this topic. Now, we're not talking about the 32 major and 80 minor marks of perfection uh, that relate to um, uh, a Buddha, the form of a Buddha, a fully enlightened being in the Buddhist religious system. We're not talking about that. We're talking about art, we're talking about drawing, and we're talking about color, and we're talking about composition. And we're talking about how uh, artists frame uh, figurative subjects to make them stand out more or stand out less, to highlight certain features or characteristics. There's many, many different ways that artists have to do this. And one of the main techniques that they employ is the use of halos, either a halo around the head, or, or a, a halo around the body, or call it a nimbus of some kind. Okay, so in terms of the key points, there's shape, there's color, and there's painting tradition slash style. Now, for shape, we have, we have the, the general design. Um, it can be circular, it can be oblong, uh, it can be oval, there's all different kinds of shapes. Then we can have um, a size. It can be a very, very small circle around the head, or it could be uh, extremely large, um, almost uh, half the size of the overall uh, body of the figure. Uh, then there's a question of decorative. Is, is the halo decorative or is it simple? Is it one color or is it multicolors? Is it, does it have... Um, other objects in it? Is there a dragon painting in it? Uh, a drawing of a dragon? Are there jewels? Um, there can be many types of, of, uh, of decorative uh, halos. Then color. So in regardless of the size, uh, the color of the halo um, has to be different than the color of the of the face and body of the figure or or deity being depicted. So, is the color solid or is it transparent, or is it um, or does it fade? Uh, does it does it have one dominant color but then it fades to something else? Um, is it layered? Uh, is there um, is there uh, strips uh, of of rainbow color surrounding the outer halo? Then in terms of, of painting tradition and or style, then you have to look at the chronology uh, when it was done, and you have to look at the region. And uh, every, every major style of Himalayan painting will have their own way of depicting halos, be it the, the halo for the head or the body or just one halo for, for the entire figure. So. Halos are an important topic uh, from the point of view of art history and the artist, and it's very important for the for the viewer of art um, to understand how the eye is being directed towards certain characteristics of the painting or of the figure uh, being depicted. So, if you like the series of videos, then uh, hit the like button. You can share. You can subscribe. And you can also support the work that Himalayan Art Resources does by becoming a patron on Har on Patreon.